What's up beautiful people? It's your boy George with Vegas Must Try. Back at it once again with another video. And today we're doing a hotel review of the MGM Grand Resort and Casino. We're checking out the pool, the rooms, restaurants, and maybe a little bit of gambling. Let's get into it. All right, guys, we made it to the room. We are on the 14th floor, and this is the Stay Well Two Queen room. The room is very basic, so I'm just gonna do a very quick tour. As soon as you walk in on the right-hand side, you are gonna have the restroom, some tile here, a very small bathtub, and the shower. The shower head, I'm gonna talk about in a second. Here we have the two queen beds. Shout out to housekeeping because they're spotless. Got a lamp here with the dresser, phone, and clock, and then here we have the safe. Here we have the TV area with the console here to connect HDMI and other outlets. I mean, I don't know, does this accept cassettes or something? Like, <laughs> For a second I thought we had a fridge until, bam, mini bar. Here we have a little workspace with the rolly chair and to the right we have the two small comfortable chairs with the coffee table and this is our current view. I don't really care for the view but at least we're not facing like some trash cans or something. So I got this room for $135 after resort fees and taxes but I actually booked it with the promotion with a $50 food and beverage credit that is if you eat at any of the restaurants here you can just charge it to your room and they give you a $50 credit. So if you notice by the name this is a stay well room that means that they do some things a little bit different to make your stay more comfortable. Like they have a diffuser here that diffuses essential oils. They also have an air purifier. In the shower, they have a filter that removes the chlorine so that your skin and hair feels better or something like that. Also the mirror in the shower has this dawn mode so that the bright lights don't affect you in the mornings. Not to mention they have the two queen beds here that have memory foam. So those are some things that make stay well rooms a little bit different, but they do come at a slightly higher price. The MGM Grand is definitely one of those premier destinations to stay here in Las Vegas. And there are a ton of places to eat and a lot of things to do but here are two short lists on those two categories for food in no particular order i got joe robichon which is one of the best restaurants in las vegas it's a french restaurant you also have morimoto which is a high-end sushi place the mgm grand buffet honestly not one of my favorites but it's worth mentioning wolfgang puck you also have international smoke which is aisha curry's restaurant so those are just about half of the options but they're some of the most popular ones they also have a food court here in case you have any kids that don't want to eat at any of those restaurants now as far as things to do there's actually a lot here so starting off with wet republic which is the day club here you also have Top Golf, which is associated with the MGM Grand. You can actually walk through the property to get to Top Golf. You also have the MGM Grand Pool Complex, which has four pools, a lazy river, a waterfall. It's a really nice in there. You also have Brad Garrett's comedy show. They have shows nightly, and sometimes they have some really good lineups. You can also go to the Jabberwocky show. I got tickets for $50 at the front row. If you watch later in the video, I'm gonna tell you how I did that. And there's also a small arcade that has a virtual reality room. $50, 30 minutes, super fun. All right, I try keeping it Short, but that was long-winded. Now, your boy's getting hungry. Let's head over to the casino floor. On second thought, let's head over to the pool. The MGM pool is amongst the best in all of Las Vegas. So let's head on over there real quick. So made it here to the pool and this place is massive 6.5 acres of uh, pools here there's about four or five different pools including the lazy river and there's also a waterfall as far as the lazy river you can buy a tube here for either 25 or 30 dollars i definitely recommend you buying one from amazon because it's probably going to be cheaper than that and then you can keep it it'll probably be better quality if you're someone that likes pools i would definitely recommend you booking here at the mgm grand just for the pools alone this pool deck is amazing got myself a margarita here chilling poolside $30 for this bad boy but it's actually quite good so I'm not gonna complain too much all right so now I just made it here to the main pool and this is like you know a, a ton of families are here a lot of kids the other two pools were a lot better and I think I'm gonna go inside because there is a basketball game that's happening I'm gonna put some money here at the sports book I got the heat going Jimmy buckets let's go let's head on in there Guys, I just got to the sports book and it's a decent size for those of you that don't know, but it's not one of my favorite ones in Vegas. I don't have any cash, so I'm gonna use the BetMGM app to put money. But now I think I'm switching gears because the Knights are playing and I'm gonna put 20 bucks on the Knights to win this game. Let's go, baby. The Knights are 3-0, baby. Let's get it. 
All right, I just got back to the room and your boy is a bit lit, uh, okay, I'm not gonna lie. This, I finished the 32 ounce and it was uh, pretty strong, I'm not gonna lie. Now, something I did notice is that this room kinda smells like sushi. I know that sounds kinda weird, I feel like the people before me were eating sushi. I hope it was sushi. But honestly, who cares about that? Your boy's about to go to the casino floor, lose some money, and then go to the Jabberwockies show. Let's do it. All right, I usually play craps, but today I'm feeling like some slots, so let's try this Wheel of Fortune. And let's try our luck. Let's go, another Wheel of Fortune. Oh, okay. That's like $10. <laughs> All right, now I'm playing this like Chinese game. Touch a coin to reveal the Foo Baby. All right, we got six free games. Where are we at? $52, nice. $80, nice. $100. Let's go, that's how you do it. Finally we win. All right, that's it. Let's see how much we collected. 10 bucks, 11, boom, boom. 33 buck roos. All right, let's cash it out and then let's go eat somewhere. All right, so right before the Jabberwockies, I'm gonna come here to International Smoke, one of the newest restaurants here at the MGM Grand. They have some barbecue. It's Aisha Curry's and Michael Mina's collab restaurant. Let's do it. All right, so I just made it here to International Smoke, and this is an Asian and American inspired menu from what I can see here. The menu here looks a little bit up there in price, and I asked and they don't have any brisket. I am so disappointed. So it looks like they have a really good selection of beers and some really nice coffee. Cocktails, but I went ahead and ordered some water because I'm gonna go to the show and at the show I'm pretty sure they're gonna sell alcohol and I don't want to black out in the middle of the video All right, I literally just said I wasn't gonna drink and then Maddie right here She hooked us up with the watermelon bitters and some grapefruit basically like a paloma or a margarita If you will not sponsored be here. They just saw me with the camera. They're like you should try this and let people know what it's like Man, ooh, let's go. This tastes like a little Mexican candy uh, lollipops, the spicy uh, sandia ones, uh, watermelon ones, super good. All right, so to be transparent, they said this out complimentary as well. We got some duck wings. These are apparently marinated for two weeks, and we got some green salsa here. I got the fried rice that I ordered. This is gonna be pork belly fried rice and the half rack ribs. Well, now it comes with the egg salad and some cornbread. All right, let's try these duck wings. Oh my God, they are delicious. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know I love duck. They're like nice and fatty, really good flavor, very unique flavor. Let's dip it in that green salsa. Look at that, oh Jesus. All right, now time to go for the ribs. They don't have brisket, so I'm expecting good stuff from this. Mm. I want you to check something out because I have a theory this is going to happen. Yup, like I suspected, fall off the bone. This is really good. Mm. These ribs are fall off the bone. They're really good. And no, I'm not just drunk and saying that. Every single thing I tried here, except maybe for the fried rice, the fried rice needed a little bit of sauce, but the flavor was there. Now, it is a little bit overpriced, but I mean, you're in Vegas, you're in a casino. This is celebrity chefs doing the work and everything was delicious. Now, this is tequila, watermelon, grapefruit juice, and some bitters. Remember to order this. Hopefully, they have it on the menu by then. Need some things to go because I had to make it to the Jabberwocky shows in 10 minutes. I just got done with the Jabberwockies Timeless Show and let me tell you, I really, really liked it. I got my ticket front row for $50 because I am solo right now. So they try to fill up those spots. So I got the cheapest available ticket price at the front row, so that was awesome. Now, I would actually recommend you to get a ticket right in the middle of everything because that's where you get the best visual of the Jabberwockies. If you like lights, movements, lasers, and fan interaction, 
this is definitely the show for you. It's family friendly and it's super fun. It's about an hour and a half long and I really had a good time. All right, so I was walking around and then I saw a little screen with a dessert on it right here and I made it inside at Tom Colicchio's Craft Steak. As you can see, your boy is a sucker for dessert. So let's see how it is. All right, so first place up, we got a cinnamon monkey bread here with some vanilla ice cream. I also see some nuts here. Then we also got a creme brulee here with some assortment of berries right on top. Take a look at that. This was also recommended. Oh my God, this should be illegal. Wow. Sensational. Dessert at steakhouses is usually really, really good. And this time, it didn't disappoint. Nice amount of density with the right amount of caramel in there. And with the ice cream. Mm. Now let's try this creme brulee right here. Oh, mm, look at that nice thick piece of sugar up there. This is fire. Definitely get the monkey bread. The bread and ice cream combination is unreal. All right guys, so I just got back to the room and honestly, I had a great time here. The pool was great. We won some money in the casino floor, both in the sports book and on the slots. Also, the food was great here. I wish I had enough money to go to Joe Robuchon. And if I could change one thing about this trip would be to have a better room. Now, since I'm by myself, I really don't care because the beds are pretty comfortable, but I would actually spend a little bit more money to get one of the renovated or one of the suites. But I've always been of the mindset of having a better time outside of the room because inside of the room you're really only here to sleep or mm. with that i leave you guys a review thank you guys so much remember to follow on instagram at vegas must try give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and drop a comment for the algorithm thank you guys so much and i'll see you on the next time peace out